What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build It video. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about some technical issues that I see a lot of people have and that I've actually experienced personally, which can be super frustrating. Have you ever been typing in the group chat and your keyboard that is supposed to pop up keeps dropping down? All right. I've had this issue. Many of us have had this issue. However, I have a um, Moto G7 Power, and I have never had any issues with my game crashing, my keyboard dropping down, um, the the way that it would like glitch and kind of throw you back on your, your wallpaper screen. I don't know if you're playing on a tablet or a phone. However, every single time I have installed this game on an LG device, I have issues. So I had purchased a Stylo 3, and I constantly had problems with my keyboard where I would be typing, and then all of a sudden my keyboard would drop down. So I decided I was going to buy a brand new phone, and I purchased the Stylo 4. Brand spanking new, spent like 300 bucks on the damn thing, right? And I get to my car, and I'm installing my game because this is like the most important app on my phone. And the screen on the Stylo 4 is like, it's perfect. You know, it looks great. And it zoomed further out of my city on my Stylo 4. And I was actually able to um, to see a lot more detail than I could before. So it was actually easier for me to um, design my city. So I thought it would be. However, the game would start up and the game would run, and I would get all the way through the tutorial. And the very moment that I would connect my city, I couldn't open the app again. It would load, and then it would crash. And I tried to not connect my city, go through the tutorial, and play. And the moment that I closed the app and tried to reopen it, it would never open again. So I take my phone back to the phone store, and they say, you know, oh, well, maybe it just doesn't have the specifications. Um... The specs for this game are actually very low, and it ran on my Stylo 3 just fine. So I thought it was the, the actual phone was having issues. So I swap it out for another Stylo 4, and I have the same issue. I never did end up figuring out what exactly it was about the Stylo 4. However, I decided that I was done with LG, and I went to Moto. Now, when I went to Moto, I had no more issues. I've had several people in my group have LG devices and they have similar technical issues. I'm wondering if it might be the operating system of the phone. Maybe there's something in there it just doesn't like because it has the specs, it has the RAM, the space, all that. Um, I've also seen a lot of people say that they are unable to type when they're on the war screen. I don't have that issue with Moto. I can type just fine on the war screen. Um, I have noticed that several people that use Apple devices, there is a setting in your device that allows you to split your keyboard. So, you know, half the keyboard on one side, half the keyboard on another. People have had success when they go into their settings and they change that to put the keyboard, a full length keyboard, and then they say, they claim that it stopped dropping down. Now, the way that I fixed it on my Stylo 3 was I installed this keyboard app here that, I'm, that shows, I had the, um, the Facebook one. There are several different kinds that you can download. Uh, the, some of the popular ones that I use are, I don't use the Google keyboard because I didn't have success with that one, but I use the, the Facebook one, and then there is another one. Um, I think it's Go Keyboard or Go Plus or something like that. That one is pretty decent. And once I changed my keyboard app, that changed. Now, if you're somebody who has a keyboard app, you might want to try turning that off. Okay, because it might be that. You know, because there was a keyboard app that I had. And, you know, you see how it has the background here? Well, for whatever reason, it was just 
having difficulty loading that. So when I went to the standard, the standard um, keyboard that the phone was intended to use, I had an easier time on my tablet. So just kind of mess around with it. You might have to update your game, try to uninstall it, reinstall it, that kind of stuff. Um, I've, I haven't had any success with uninstalling and reinstalling, but there's also settings in your actual keyboard. Go to your, you know, your phone, click the actual settings, go through and see if there's like a keyboard timeout, you know, where it drops down or if there's a way, I know some people want to know how to put their, um, their number, see how I have numbers on the top of my, my keyboard here. So for this app, you just scroll like this. A lot of people are like, well, where'd my number row go? That's, that's where it went. And that's why you don't see it anymore. There is a section in this app where you can turn that off. You know, you, you don't have to have numbers. I use them because I don't like having to hold the button down just to say how many items I need. Um, if you're having trouble once you get through the tutorial and you're unable to join a club, you probably didn't set the age correctly. I know that if you put your age below like 18 or whatever, or 13, the game will not allow you to join a mayor's club. Um, friend of mine had that issue. It took us a while to kind of figure out what was going on, but that was what was going on. So if you are having that problem, that could be the cause of it. Now, um, the best thing that I can say is, <coughs> depending on what device you have, if you're still having this issue with the keyboard, um, there's really, honestly, not much you can do. Um, I know that the, that it can be caused by too many apps running in the background, so it might be wise to kind of do some... Um, there's like these game boost things, RAM boost, all that stuff. You can install something like that. But realistically, I think it has to do with the device that you're using. Uh, I've had a lot of people report that their Kindle Fires have issues. Um, so LG, Kindle Fire, and I believe it's iPhone 6 are the ones that have the most issues. So if I were you, I would recommend getting, if, if you're somebody who plays this game a lot, I recommend getting something like a Moto. Now, I've never used Moto before, um, so I was actually really impressed with their their operating system. It's just all around a better phone, personally, I think. I was a big LG fan and Android, and I have had nothing but issues with the battery life and with the game and things like that. So that being said, I mean, I'm sorry I can't be of more help to you guys as far as this technical issue goes. You can try to contact SimCity. Their, their uh, customer service is actually pretty decent. Um, they do get back to you. They will reimburse you for, you know, cash if you're, if you were a victim of, you know, hacking on the last mayor's. I think the most they give you though is 250 cash. But try to contact them. Basically, all they're going to tell you though, from my experience, is uninstall, reinstall. That's really all they're going to say. Okay. So if you've already tried that, you've been unsuccessful. Try to go ahead and get that keyboard app and you might have to get a different device to play on. If you're playing on PC and you're running BlueStacks, you shouldn't be having this issue. If you're running Game Guardian, then you're a hacker and uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so um, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Oh, if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button because we're already at like 150 subscribers and uh, we're trying to hit at least a thousand.